What do you think? Marvellous, eh? I knew you didn't come to Genoa for a driver's license. Anyone in London could have done that. Problem is, I won't have time to play around with makeup. Besides, I'm not much good at it anyway. Forget about makeup. The most important thing is the skin. Your skin must look grey and tired. We used a trick in the army to fake illness and get out of fatigue duty. Did you get hold of some cordite? I suppose so. If you swallow a couple of small pieces of cordite, it'll make you feel sick and turn the skin a sort of grey colour. After about an hour, oh, you'll feel all right again, but your skin will look grey for much longer. I'll try it. Now, what about the French documents? French identity card's all right. The other one, I don't think I've ever seen what they look like, let alone copy it. I'll have to get a colleague of mine in France to pick someone's pocket so I can make a duplicate. It'll mean more time, more money. How much more? 500. 300 pounds? Half now, half on delivery. When will I hear from you? I'll be returning to Genoa on August the 14th. Be in the same place where we met tonight at 6 o'clock. Must be a big job you've got on there. Eh? Now, there are certain things I wish to make clear. When you finish the work, you will hand over the negatives and all the prints of the photographs you've just taken. You will also forget the name of Duggan and the name on the French documents you're going to produce. Is that understood? driving license and the French identity card were easy enough, but uh, whew, that third card was a big headache. It's nicely doggy, earth, isn't it? Have you forgotten something? Sorry? The original driving license, the one I said I wanted back. I thought we might have a little chat about that. Oh, yes. Yeah. The fact is, you see, the original driving license is not here. But don't worry, it's put away in a very safe place. Nobody can get at it but me. Well, what do you want? I'm coming to that. What I propose is simply a little trade. I give you the original driving license and all those negatives I took of you for a certain sum of money. How much? A thousand pounds. It's worth that, wouldn't you say, to get those documents back? Yes, I suppose so. <laughs> An English gentleman can always be trusted to see sense. I can find the first 500 by noon tomorrow, but on condition we don't meet here. Well, there's nothing wrong with this place. It's very quiet, it's very private. There's everything wrong with this place as far as I'm concerned. Again about that. Nobody comes here unless they're invited by me. One has to be very discreet, you know, in my little sideline. <laughs> 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 Polonium. What's polonium? Well, combined with lithium, the two together form an initiator. That's that's a detonator for a bomb. A bomb? An atomic bomb. And the rod is rammed into the heart of the fissionable core, the mass of the two together rises beyond the critical threshold, and that's when things start to get exciting. The fissionable core will explode only if at the moment of criticality it's bombarded by a blizzard of neutrons, and the blizzard is created by the initiator. 
lithium and the polonium. What is it that sends the plug down the tube into the mass? Any old plastic explosive. I believe you know about that. <laughs> so, what we're looking for is some plastic explosive, detonator, two small discs, a tube, a round metal case, and a rod of uranium. And the uranium ball. The thing about uranium, it's heavy. Twice as heavy as lead. That ball alone would take a strong man to lift two-handed. Mm. But in size, it's about as big as a, a small football. Yeah, a child's football. <laughs>